There have been countless technological advances just in the past decade that we use on a daily basis and cannot imagine living without. One of these luxuries is the global positioning system, better known as GPS. Many don't know that the GPS was invented by the Air Force Space Command as a tool to help warfighters stay in contact with each other and stay safe while conducting their missions. So back when, we, when I flew the F-15 without a GPS, I didn't even think about it. I didn't, I didn't sit around saying, I wish I had a GPS. I have a little bit more, or a lot more peace of mind with a GPS now. We started putting new tracking pods on the aircraft around seven years ago. And those pods have a GPS receiver, which allows you to basically go fly sorties anywhere around the world and download the GPS data and reconstruct that fight. The GPS has been fully operational for 20 years now, and since the 1990s, it has proven that it's an invaluable part of the military's mission, not just downrange, but for training at home as well. If you look at the things that happen at Nellis between Red Flag, the weapons school, and then you also have Green Flag and the host of other exercises that may be recurring or one-off exercises that happen around here and you cannot you can't you can pull those exercises off but you can't get the learning that we get and get the progress that we produce at Nellis without the ability to reconstruct the fight whether it's assistance with training guiding bombs to their targets or helping someone find their way home GPS has affected each and every one of us since its invention. Airman First Class Taylor West. Okay, here we go. Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada.